right guys, uh, this is an interesting day, we are starting the playthrough of Mega Man 1, of the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Uh, so they actually, this is um, pre-recorded gameplay, this is not my commentary, this is uh, you know, recorded after. So I'll pretty much be going over just what about the game. So we're starting with Mega Man 1 if you're wondering. Mega Man 2 there. Uh, but pretty much what's going on is I've never played the classic series in Mega Man before. So I'm going to be playing it today. So if I'm terrible, I'm sorry. And I'm going to be pretty bad as you will soon see. And I mean terrible as me. I don't know if you'll see in part 2, but I get really bad. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see, but uh, obviously in Mega Man 1, there's only one person you can start with, that's obviously Bomb Man, so uh, I select him here. So in this game, um, if you don't know, you can, as you can see here, you can like change the screen ratio, which is good. You can apply a different border, so you can have a Mega Man themed border on the side, or you can even filter the screen to look like an old arcade machine or even on an old TV. But it does work um, on HD TV. So as you can see here, I will. Um, I'm not going to talk much through this, but you'll you'll pretty much see everything as it goes along. That is. If you guys want me to put a face cam on the next, well, it won't be on the next video, but it's, I've already pre-recorded these, so they'll all go up pretty much at the same time. But if you want to see more, yeah, that's that's good. As you can see, I, I took a hell of a beating. Uh, I'm actually using the auto fire by pressing the Y button on the Xbox One, which is the console I am playing on. So, guys, I know you're gonna comment saying, oh my god, this guy's so bad, because literally, I think in the next part, you will cringe at how bad it is. Well, how bad I am, so you will see eventually. In, in a specific stage that you'll see. Now I have a completed the game, I've only done a few of the Robot Masters as I speak, as I'm speaking now, but, you know, you know. Well, I, I can't say I'm much of a fan of this the music from the first game, it's kind of weird to me. I really do prefer the music from Mega Man 2 and 3. See, those two are the golden age games. See, I, I like these games and I know much about them, but I've never played them by Sincere. I did play Mega Man 10. That's about it, and it, it looks it pretty much what I But I did complete it. But then again, Mega Man 10 wasn't as unforgivably hard. We have pretty much bullet bills there. Quite annoying, actually. I actually scrolled that guy off the screen. He didn't notice. I don't know, I think I actually do end up dying to. I have no idea. Yeah, but in Mega Man 1, uh, Mega Man slides a lot. don't know what I was doing here, I think I actually stopped messing around with something. Because this is all post-commentary. Actually, I believe this is, um... No, I just stopped recording, so I don't know. Alright. So, uh... We're continuing the stage? Maybe? You see how the, uh... The missiles just... Yeah, this is me, pretty much. 
so it's setting up the game DVR. It's kind of awkward to use. Bad type of probably. I don't even know if you'll see this. I might leave it in just for banter purposes. Just see how stupid it is. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so. It's it's quite There we go, I died, so I do end up dying. <laughs> My word. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty bad. So um Pretty much this game is that it, if if you know what to do, it's not that difficult. I think I do die here again if I believe he knocks me off. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things um, in the later games, is that if you get hit, you can actually land on the spice and survive while your invincibility frame is still up, but in Mega Man 1, that didn't exist, so you know, it's, it's not great, it's not great if I have to say. Ow! <laughs> Even even myself, as I speak now, is surprised how I failed. That cannot be a good thing. So, I game over in the first fucking stage. Well, only me. Only I can do that. Only I can do that. There are, there are some exceptions to the music in this game, it's not bad, but I, ju I just don't get the same feel, it feels too archaic for me. And, uh, I'm a bastard screwdriver. As you can see, the game's clearly showing its difficulty straight off the bat, which I, I like a good challenge, to be fair, but games like, you know, Dark Souls, I guess you say The Witcher, and just many games in general feel too hard at times. I mean, I, I enjoy a good challenge, but when the game is so hard that I can't understand the story, or I don't find it fun, well, if it's too hard, Essentially, I I just want to go. There will be a lot of quiet moments. I will assure you, but you know, at times there also will be. This is not much to talk about in a post commentary. If this was my commentary, I'd actually probably be able to talk about something, but. I seriously just can't. I don't remember what I did half an hour ago. In fact, it's probably an hour ago. I don't remember. When you're seeing this, obviously it'll be uh, quite a bit away. But I don't remember anything. So the Sniper Joe, as I can see, I, I thought I could jump past the Sniper Joe. But it turns out you actually can't, so I lost a lot of life, but uh, I think had I known that I probably would have lost as much health as I did. Well, it's in the past now, what can I do? There we go, I finally killed him. So I'm using the auto fire feature, which is the Y button, which is a three burst round shot. Mega Buster. Looking good on the health. Not looking good at all. Not good at all. You bastard. Now all of these robots have some purpose in the world, such as I believe all of the robots in this game were meant to be construction robots. See, One Man and Guts Man were actually work together in unison as construction robots. So, you know, Bomb Man would blow up holes to allow... Basically, they were, like, they were trying to, I don't know, create an area, so... Uh, Bomb Man would blow the place up, and, oh, I died, and uh, 
Guts Man would, uh, you know, pick up the rubble. So that's the sort of gist of this game that there's different robots based on construction. So yeah, I did die again because, look, guys, I was kind of learning the ropes at this point. I'm still getting used to the game, and here I just completely clutched that. I completely clutched that at the end. There's the sniper Joe frantically trying to reach me. And this bastard is just... he won't let me through. Alright, so... We're about to face Bomb Man, the first boss. First game. So, the interesting thing is, in the first Mega Man game, you actually... Before you could, you know, before you could go get the boss, instead of just going through the door and then blue corridor where you can switch weapons, you can't do that in this game. <laughs> you have to go down a corridor or it, you basically have to go through an area where there's enemies. But there aren't many enemies and it's pretty controlled. Either way, it's still really annoying to navigate. We're at the first boss. So I only have the Mega Buster on the first run, unfortunately. Bomb Man actually, his pattern actually isn't too difficult when you get angry. He throws a bomb next to him, then a bomb barely mid distance away, and then a four bomb. However, he did kill me. <laughs> But that was before I knew the pattern. Don't worry though, I do come back and do <laughs> Right. I'm lucky maybe. Well I don't know, you'll have to see I guess. So I don't remember. I think he threw a bomb right to the end there to try and, try and use a mortar tactic. It didn't work. Okay, so that's the first Robot Master down, and I will see you guys in the second part when we will take our guts, man. Ah, and there will be embarrassment. Shit.